Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to fix the error message. An extended error has occurred on Windows 11 home single language. Now, this usually happens when you are trying to join a network, change region settings, or during updates. So let's begin. Now, first of all, make sure your region and language match. Since this is Windows 11 home single language, you can only use the default display language and if you have changed it to another added language pack, that can trigger this error. And of course, again from here, you can set your country or region correctly, okay, and ensure your original format matches too. Now, the next thing is, you might want to go to the date and time. You have to enable set time automatically right here and set the time zone automatically. Incorrect system can cause authentication issues that lead to this error, all right? And if you want to set all of these all by default, you can do so. So it's up to you, all right? You can choose to sync it now so that you can synchronize your clock. And then another option that you can look into is by going to the Windows PowerShell. Now, once you are inside the Windows PowerShell, I want you to type in set SMBC client configuration right here and wait for it to load and then that should load and diagnose the problem all right and then another option that you could look into is that you can try to reset the network settings especially if you're seeing this error while connecting to a wi-fi or domain try resetting your network settings go to advanced network settings select network reset right here and, th and then this will reinstall their network adapters and restore everything to the, the default okay now after that if nothing works you might want to head over to the microsoft support for troubleshooting steps and of course from here just choose windows and go to windows 11 and tell them your situation. They would able to provide you more technical guidance and troubleshooting support. And basically that's it for today's video. These steps, you should now be able to change your system settings or language without running into that annoying error. If this video helped you out, do not forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications. And we will see you again in the next video.